Hello everyone. Today we are going to see how to use private endpoint on on your storage account and what are the benefits of using private endpoints and how to configure it in storage account. We are also going to see how this works in a peer network. We don't have any hybrid um, environment. We are not going to see in a hybrid environment, but we are going to see on VNet to VNet peering and so why we should use private endpoint there are a couple of benefits as highlighted here where your storage it's it's a kind of firewall for your storage account where you can block all public connection to your public endpoint on a storage account which is by default open for a storage account a storage service of microsoft azure and it increases the security for your virtual network by enabling you to block exfiltration of data from vnet also you can if you have a hybrid environment connected over with your azure network using either express route or vpn you can you can use this uh, storage accounts from you can securely connect with these storage accounts from your on-prem network over a private IP where your uh, private endpoint is hosted so suppose you have created a network with this range 10.1.0.0 and you have a subnet there uh, it the, your private endpoint will have a uh, private endpoint service as well as a DNS to identify your private endpoint DNS John it will have some record set a, a entries as you can see to your storage account you can have one entry on secondary account if to to give more availability of availability to your connections from private from hybrid either from hybrid to Azure or between Azure VNet so so those are the things involved for configuring your uh, private endpoint for storage accounts and we are going to see everything how to set it up step by step and uh, let's go to Azure and see this uh, today so I'm on Azure I'm going to click go and create an account to test our private private endpoint I will give it a name unique name then I will choose my performance whether it's standard or tier the standard tier or premium tier redundancy I will choose uh, LRS only in this case since we are not doing it for a production application <laughs> or we don't have any requirement to replicate this to a different region I can keep this option as it is and here I will here itself you can do it or you can first create a storage account and then enable private endpoint so here I'm going to do um, to create a private endpoint so here you choose uh, your network resource group first and your subscription then resource group and location it should be same location where your endpoint is where where your storage account is then choose which service you want to create endpoint for blob service file service whatever service as your storage account is giving you based upon your selection and then you choose your virtual network and and subnet and you can choose to enable private dns integration so what it will do it if it is not created by other subnet uh, other other private endpoint it will create for first time private uh, blog private link dot blog dot core dot windows dot net you can choose your routing preference I will leave this option open without changing anything you can enable versioning you can enable change feed and click on create
after creation of account it will should be created quickly then we are going to check we are going to check our endpoint connection account is account got created we will go to containers I will create a new container and we will see what we are able to do publicly. Uh, I have this account open publicly and uh, it should be all lowercase and I will click on OK. It is allowing you to create containers but publicly but it, w it won't allow you to upload anything in that container or access anything from that container. So that means that private endpoint blocked a public access, public endpoint for this storage account and only way to access it from the network. So I have this virtual machine hosted in same network where we have our endpoint. And as you can see, this virtual machine doesn't have any public address. It is uh, a private machine. With private IP I have Azure, Azure Bastion host through which I am going to connect with this machine I'm in that Azure Bastion machine as you can see and in this Azure Bastion machine I am going to do the same step I am going to upload a file here in this machine I don't have any file so I will create a file I have created this file text file and I as well simply choose it and upload it as you can see from here you are since you are in the network you are able to upload this file here I will try with one more file it's a image file so let's see you we are able to upload it again so that that means this file this uh, blob service is available only in your virtual network and we can verify that by doing NS lookup on this machine from this machine to to your storage account as address so if I do NS lookup on storage private link lab dot blob dot core dot windows dot net it should have non authoritative answer is on this IP address which is one of my address from my as you can see machine address is 172.0.2.4 and the traffic for your storage account is flowing traversing on that private IP 0. 0.6 which validates that this endpoint is only available on your virtual network over the so in previous uh, step we saw that we have created a private endpoint and I, ca I have came here in private link center to see that private endpoint and I'm in private endpoints and here when I click on it I will see what entries it ha have done it has done there is a DNS configuration and there is this uh, DNS entry for DNS John, it created private link dot, dot blob dot core dot windows dot net, and in that there is FQDN address a entry for your IP address from your private network subnet, which is one seventy two point zero point stars. So let me go to private DNS John, which our private endpoint created while we were creating private endpoint connection in a storage account. 
so as you can see it is private link dot plop dot core dot windows dot net that is our zone and here you can see entry against our storage account e entry it has the storage account name and then that domain and also it has detail time to live and the address of on which you want your traffic to flow and then let's go to uh, my peer network machine where i have this machine which is peered my original network there you can see traffic is flowing through public network just see how we have peering between our networks for this private endpoint lab so this is there are two networks vnet peer vnet private link test so private endpoint is working for first network which is vnet private link test we have this peering enabled from both side same in this network and this is the address range of our new network 192.0.0. this is original and endpoint is working but peering by simply doing the peering our uh, private endpoint is not flowing through a through a private ip so let's go to this machine which is a peer network and let's ping that storage account and as you can see here this is my peer machine and i traffic for this blob storage is flowing over a public network and you can see it's a public IP from Azure while on my other machine traffic is still flowing through a private IP from my subnet over the private internet so what we can do to um, to enable this for this network traffic flow from should also flow from using private IP we have to create a virtual network link in our private DNS zone so it can that network can also identify this uh, private endpoint as I have created this link private link uh, it will take some couple of seconds to complete it after that as you can see it's not complete yet yeah now it is completed i will go to my peer network machine again which is 192.0.0.5 and still traffic is not flowing from that private ip yeah it took some time and as you can see it is now flowing through this 192.0.0.2.6 so by doing that we are able to confirm that traffic for peer network was flowing initially from public network now it is flowing through a private network on a peer network as well so in our storage account only private endpoint is enabled from one network and then in for another network what we did only is to create a virtual network link in our private dns zone which allowed traffic to flow from that work same endpoint or you can define if you create one more endpoint you can have availability you can make it flow over 172.0.2.7 so it all depends upon you so thank you so much and have a great learnings private IP